So, now you're an old hand at deconstructing uh, polynomials and dissecting them and making them see what makes them just by looking at them, just by looking at their factored form, decide where their zeros are and know what their end behavior is, know how many times they're going to turn. So now let's make, let's go the other way and we'll make some polynomials. You're going to be making your own custom polynomial. It's going to be named after you. You're going to be famous. Uh, so I'm going to make a polynomial. I want it to want it to go down like this. I'm just making this up. And I want it to go through, let's see. I want it to, let's see, touch it. We'll call that, let's see, one, two, three, call it, we'll touch it three. But it'll go through at zero and minus four. All right, so I want a polynomial. It's going to touch here. So it's going to go like this. And it's going to go through zero. We have to make this noise. It's going to go like that. What's this polynomial? What if you gave him that picture of this polynomial? This is a 3 over here. This is minus 4 over here. 1, 2. What if you're given this polynomial, or you want to make this polynomial? Well, let's see. You know from this, it's going to be an even uh, degree. The odd ones go opposite directions. They either go positive infinity, negative infinity, or negative infinity this way, positive infinity that way. This one goes to negative infinity both ways. And how many times does it turn? Let's see, it turns one, two, three times. So for something to turn three times, it has to be at least degree three plus one, or four. So we want something that's degree four. And we've kind of almost spelled it out because we have our zeros. So we know that if we were to set this equal to zero, there would be a zero at x minus three would be one of the factors. And because it just touches, we know this is a multiplicity, an even multiplicity. And because it's degree four, let's see, our other zeros are going to be zero, so it's x minus zero, or just x and x plus 4 out here. Remember to change the sign. The sign is the opposite. So we're starting to build our polynomial. And this just touches here, so this has to be square. This has to have a multiplicity of 2 or 4 or 6. Since it's degree 4, it can't go up over 4, over 2, because we have these other two things here. So that's why I say there's many polynomials that you can possibly fit to this, but we want the simplest one. And this is going to be it so far. So we've we've almost built our polynomial. I'll use f of x today. But there's one other possibility. Let's see, it has to be negative. So it has an exponent out here, and you know this is going to be negative. So we have this it's not really the leading coefficient yet. Well, actually, it's going to be because all these are positive x's. They're going to be squared together. The largest leading term is going to be an x squared comes out of this, and x comes out of this, so it's x cubed. Now it's x to the fourth. So the leading term is minus ax to the fourth. I made a point of putting the minus sign out there. We could have just said a is a negative number. Either way is fine. So this is our parabola, but this a sort of scales it. There are many parabolas with, I'm sorry, it's not a parabola, it's a, it's a power, it's an equation of the power of four. But there are many that go through these points. Let's see, here would be one that's a little flatter. And more often than not, you'll get one that's extremely pointy, which goes 
way up off your scale here, whips down here, and then comes up just to touch like here. So here's another one. So they all differ in scale. You can, the last part is we have to pick a point and that will make, that will fix our A. So let me write this again. I don't like having that x minus zero. It's kind of weird. I'm going to write ax x minus three squared x plus four. So let's to get a, we need a point, a point that's not one of these points. So let's pick something down here. Notice we have to pick a negative. I mean, we're, we're forced to be on one particular side or the other, depending on where we pick it, depending on how this goes. If we pick on the wrong side, then we could end up one that goes up like that. Um, hmm. All right, so let's make up a point. Let's try and find something easy. How about, this is gonna be squared, so let's pick, say this is two and I don't know, minus three. So the point two minus three is on our graph. So that means when three minus three, which equals f of two, we put in two for x for all these things, and then we'll be left with just a. So this is minus a, x is two, so we put in two, x minus three is minus one, minus one, and that's squared. x plus four is six. That's the end of our equation. All right, so we've got minus a two times one times six, and that equals minus three. All right, so we're almost done, let's see. Minus a times 12 equals minus three. Well, those minus signs cancel off. We'll divide through by 12. And so we're left with a equals three over 12, which equals, divide both by three, one over four. So notice it's positive because we had the minus sign out here. So our final equation my custom personal equation is minus one fourth x x minus three squared x plus four. Isn't that beautiful? It's a power four, it's a degree four polynomial turns three times, so that's the most it can turn. It goes through uh, the points zero, three, and minus four. And it has this uh, leading coefficient out here, which is negative, which means that it points down here this way, as all even degree equations will. So that's my equation. I want you to come up with your own equation and you should be able to graph it either by putting in a few points using a graphing calculator or maybe even uh, going to desmos.com it's neat to as you enter these it shows you that as they build up and and you should be able to see your equation there very nicely okay not much to that this uh, last section uh I think it's three six. It has a lot of methods for factoring. We're not going to go over those. The thing that I like about that is it has some problems which give you some zeros and their multiplicity and asks you create asks you to create a polynomial from that. So I like those equations. That's really all we're getting out of this uh, section. Okay, have fun. I want to see what polynomial you make.